Hey guys, it's William, and um, in this video, I'm going to show you what I learned recently, and uh, I'm going to show you guys in uh, Photoshop. So recently, I've learned to draw uh, using just gradient and uh, using a uh, really high contrast black and white, uh, like uh, not necessarily uh, black, uh, it's uh, just a really dark color and really bright color, and we can add uh, some sort of a gradient. Uh, but it's uh, it's not a must. So uh, if you are following my channel, or uh, I uh, done some like samurai practice, um, like a block uh, practice, and the traditional manga like um, like deep pen, like a, like a brush uh, practice, like doing that traditionally. Um, so if you haven't seen that, you're more than welcome to check that out. Um, so I think yeah, uh, why not try this out at Photoshop. Okay, uh, so that's exactly what we're gonna do, and uh, I'm, uh, this video will be uh, like a real time video. I don't know what uh, the finished drawing is. I just want to try this out on Photoshop for the first time uh, using the technique that I learned uh, traditionally, as well as uh, in other software. So, it's, for example, uh, like blend this grease pens or something like that, just to practice this and uh, just to feel the workflow. And uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, chat with you guys along the way. So if you got anything that you want to talk to uh, me about, just uh, leave in the comment. And don't forget, it's really really important to please give this video a thumb up. Okay, please like this video so other people can actually watch my video. Okay, uh, I did not currently earn anything on making this video, and I'm um, I'm really really broke right now. So please support me by subscribe and give me a like. Okay, so let's continue. Um, uh, yeah, recently I uh, I uh, I want to challenge myself with like a, like a portrait mode rather than this uh, horizontal. So normally I would just use horizontal. So let's challenge myself with that with a portrait. Okay, so uh, maybe two, maybe two or one point five or something like that. Uh, so two hundred, uh, two thousand to one hundred height. Uh, sorry, uh, this should be here. Two okay, so it would be a fairly large, um, yeah, portrait, right? Maybe too large, I'm not sure. Uh, just to go along with, with the whatever I have, okay? So, things I'm going to draw like completely gradient color, mm, I'm going to start with the completely black and all the way to white. So, um, I'm going to um, use this uh, maybe color layer or whatever layer you, you have in mind. Uh, just test the color out, okay? And the brush, I'm thinking of a uh, hard run brush, maybe. Hard run brush, okay? That's just a two round. Um, if you use a soft brush, we're just too soft. So I'm thinking of uh, like. A, Dry media brush, is it like a pen? Uh, what about a wet media brush? Okay, let's use the uh, cartoonist uh, ink thing. This is a Kaya's brush, by the way. Uh, you can download that complete for free uh, at um, at uh, Photoshop's website. Okay, I think that's uh, definitely real oil. What about real oil? I think that's that's pretty interesting. Okay, maybe real oil, maybe not so wet. Uh, I sort of loved a dry sort of color. Load maybe not too much. Okay, you can adjust that. Flow maybe not too much. Just to turn it down. Give it sort of a dry feeling. Okay, you can use that. Um, I'm just testing the brush out. Uh, you know. Previously, uh, I don't try any of the other brush other than the um, the normal brush. <laughs> okay, so what about impression list blender? Okay, this is maybe not the case for me. So special effect brushes. We got Kai's spatter brush, concept brush, concept brushes. Oh, you missed. Oh, okay, that's uh, definitely not the case. Uh, screen tone. Yeah, this screen tone is pretty good. Especially if you're doing a like a manga drawing, um, 
maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'm going to sell my webtoon myself. So I'm thinking maybe ultimate inking, maybe just real oil. Okay, I think oil brush gives really gives you a oily <laughs> feeling. All right, so uh, I'm going to stick with this, and the color uh, I'm going to use. Um, because it's just a uh, white and uh, black, so I'm going to use all the in the left. Uh, without, if you go to right a little bit, uh, that will just give you a, a specific color. We don't want that, okay? We don't want this uh, color. Uh, we just need to be something like this, okay? Okay, I think that should do. Okay, and uh, for transparency, I'm not sure I'm going to use a really high transparency. So um, I just to give a like a just a rough um, settings of my um, my scene. Okay, so I'm thinking of uh, like maybe a window, a really posh environment. Okay, maybe there's some curtain here. Uh, maybe it's a really high window with some sort of a curtain. Well, the curtain is drawn, so yeah, you you can't actually see um, really clearly. I want to give you yeah. I don't know what the heck is going on. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think I just uh, you know. I don't know what the heck is going on, but I think I can get away with, you know, uh, just to make it like this, maybe, okay, and all right, sorry about that. I just uh, saved that uh, uh, original one and uh, reopen it. And we can continue. I don't know. Maybe I just accidentally use my brush to uh, to touch the um, the area, and uh, yeah, so I can't um, uh, I can't um, like uh, lose the original settings. Okay, so yeah, nothing wrong with this. Yeah, that's um, that's like the environment. Okay, and. Um, Maybe I'm gonna just do environment, environment, environment. Maybe just M. Okay, I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> All right, another. Um, maybe adding a little bit. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm going to put the uh, like the posh, posh girl, of uh, in the center. Okay, so. Basically, just that. I, I want to separate layers. So I, I previously I have a, like a really bad habit of, um, uh, uh, you know, of not um, separate layers. So that's exactly what I'm going to do recently. Remember, if you are using that like an oily brush, you should use a mix. If you change it back, you will just lose all these uh, properties. And the reason for using the mixer brush is that um, it can do that. Um, simulate the real life scenario where you can actually mix the original layers, original color that we already draw with the like new uh, oily, uh, wet uh, sort of uh, material. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm thinking of um, like the posh go. Uh, I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, I don't want it to, you know, like a, get a really messy. Um, so I just uh, make it small, starting with the small uh, one, maybe here, okay, maybe uh, somewhere like this. Um, I'm not sure on the size of this gold here, so maybe just to like, give a really subtle hint of this gold here. and. Uh, then the neck, maybe just to go like this. Yeah, maybe the brush is too small. All right, let me just brush it down. And uh, then the the body parts, 
um, maybe something like this going down okay then the back and uh, let me just make it smaller here maybe the back will go this way and hand go this way right hand go this way and go this way okay and then the rest is just the back going here uh, I'm thinking of a, like a V sort of an evening dress so really elegant really posh here this will be the breast uh, going down and then going all the way uh, down here so I'm thinking of, about the like the pelvis and the hip like here okay so left and right here so the, the waist area and here should be like this shape all right so once I got this shape I just feel that with the stroke so it won't be too you know artificial uh, because uh, you want to reference a specific shape <laughs> that's what I do that's like a kind of like a hack you, you draw the shape but you kind of cover that shape later so it's a kind of like a cheat by using the simple color, uh, simple shape but then you, you can't let other people to know that you got a shape because I, I don't do the sketch so I just uh, you know <laughs> I'm a lazy guy so I just skip that step but uh, I use this as a reference okay use this the oily brush like the final touch brush as a reference so I just draw the shape okay and don't draw it like this because it's evening dress so in order for uh, for it to be much more elegant you just to go uh, like a go slimmer and then wider so this way uh, can give you like a elegance feeling and maybe just a bigger brush I don't want to fine-tuning all this just a you know like this okay and uh, right now uh, there is no hand let me add a little bit hint of the hand or maybe the hand will go here and uh, maybe holding a glass so that's uh, really posh maybe a wine here maybe a wine bottle here maybe just a, just a quick get wine bottle like a glass really high glass higher the glass the posher <laughs> the, 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 the go okay maybe really really high like champagne or something like that okay so really tiny something like this okay, there will be the hand um, hand maybe go down this way and go up there will be the chest going down and arm and then here and, and don't forget we also got a hand here the hand will go through the body and maybe some approximately here okay I'm not sure I just uh, give a really subtle hint of what is going on and then um, that should be served as a sort of a uh, you know the the referencing uh, like the basic sketch there uh, but uh, I don't want to apply that at this moment to so just a really simple sketch um, and of course I can apply this a little bit but not a hundred percent just to get the basic shape ready okay uh, yeah maybe uh, that's okay and yeah pretty cool so maybe he's uh, just looking at you know, far away places something like that okay and uh, here is another, I need to get my green screen up a little bit. Sorry about that, uh, it's a really crowded room. Uh, I just uh, brought a second hand like green screen. Um, so I have to you know, lift it up every time I record. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a really noisy environment. So uh, I, I try my best to, to give you guys the experience of, of uh, like a uh, uh, better experience. So. If you haven't subscribed or give me a thumb up, please do. Okay, uh, I really uh, like a walking my ass off for you guys. Okay, thank you so much. And um, now that's what I learned recently is that uh, start with the not so dark color, like a really, um, you know, really light color, and uh, this can save you time as a sketch. And once you do that, you can use the darker color to get the really really dark shadow or maybe um, 
some of the really pure color. Uh, so basically, I'm drawing a gradient, but I'm thinking of being a color. Okay, so if you like this color, very pure, very dark, you can do that. Or maybe it's a shadow, maybe it's a really dark color. You can use um, that specific really dark gradient to do. Okay, so I'm going to drag it down. So right now, previously is here. So I'm going to drag it down here and use this as a new layer. I'm going to just call it shadow layer. Okay, shadow layer, right? And I'm going to, to uh, paint on uh, on it. Uh, right now, I'm thinking of um, maybe this girl's evening dress is a little bit, um, you know, dark than uh, than this. Um, the, the body, the rest of body part. So what I'm going to do is to uh, paint this even dress. Okay, so the even dress will be here. Okay, and uh, going down. Now uh, remember, you are using a wet brush. Okay, so it will influence the um, what it, whatever rest you you paint. So the even dress will give you a V shape. Here yeah, and of course the the hand also is pretty dark, so maybe here this will casting a shadow here, and even dress will go here as well. Maybe maybe a little bit bigger, okay. And then even dress will go here, so it will cover the chest area, okay. So it will be the breast. So this can give you a very distinguished. Um, Feeling of the hand as well as, as 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 breast, okay. So definitely going to be different. And here, things this is the hand, okay. So maybe some part of thing will be in the glass. Uh, I'm not sure, so I just uh, ignore this. This part may be a little bit dark just here, and the rest of the dress will be uh, pretty dark. So maybe here. Okay, and maybe here. You don't need to be a hundred percent. You don't need to be precise. That's what I always said. Okay, you don't need to be precise. Uh, you just need to, you know, um, add all this. Of course, since you are doing a separate layer for all of this, uh, you won't be able to see this oil effect. So that's the common mistake that I made. Uh, if you watch my live um, uh, streaming, you can see that uh, I, I often got some mix of blending and uh, I, I try to blend things, I try to mix things, but I just couldn't uh, cut it. That's because I'm not using the right layer, okay? So as you guys can see, this, this looks pretty normal, right? But it's not the case, it should blend with the Poshko layer. So. The correct way of doing this, and of course doing some testing, is by duplicate this, okay? So I do that intentionally, just to let, let you guys to see that, uh, of course, um, you can use two different methods for the exact same thing, okay? So what I'm going to do is to use this shadow layer as the reference layer, and got this Poshko layer's opacity down a little bit, okay? Once I got it really down, I can see what's this uh, down below of the shadow, okay? And of course, I got this posh uh, actually going out, and then I can actually trace on whatever I draw, okay? Yeah, this is uh, like a walk around, but um, you'd better you know just uh, duplicate that and test it on the original duplication rather than doing this hack, okay? It's just I do this just because I want to show you that uh, it's better it's better to using the mix. Um, brush on like different things rather than just to use them separately. Uh, if you do that separately, it won't affect whatever um, you have uh, draw. Okay, so let's just uh, mix it up. Okay, as you can see, it's a little bit different now. Um, you can't see it. That's because you got this uh, opacity here. Okay, so if you increase the opacity. Uh, you shouldn't see that. Uh, you should see the difference. And of course, uh, I think maybe I just increase opacity so you guys can see what's going on. Just uh, you know, uh, let me just uh, undo all that. Uh, maybe not undo it. Just just, just to continue. Okay, let me just to continue so you guys can see this mixing effect uh, because um, 
you're using a mixed oily brush so you guys can see the result look at this a bit chest area and maybe a little bit eraser erase I just made a mistake okay and then brush here just be nice and easy um, this will be the hand area don't need to worry um, just leave a little bit of space for the hand uh, maybe just get it bigger going down okay as you guys can see as I go through this you can see the mixing effect already um, I'm thinking of a light coming this way okay so this area will be like light area so mainly I'm going to add this uh, dark brush at the left side okay so this part will be like light structure area so maybe not so much and the center area will be a little bit dark but not extremely dark just uh, more mixing and more blending and uh, that should do it I'm going to make it really small uh, because this should be have a really fine brush because uh, maybe that's too small sorry about that okay so we get a V shape uh, here uh, if you think that is too dry you got a, like a feeling that it's too dry um, you just uh, do that multiple times okay and then you can get a you know, like the mixed um, effect okay so uh, yeah I think that's better and of course you can make it bigger and the head part we haven't uh, mixed yet so maybe adding some here 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 All right maybe wearing a hat like a really big hat something like that but in evening dress I don't think you know maybe just to got the, the hair tied up do not necessarily need a hat for that so maybe just a little hint up, up there okay air something like that and the hand the downside of the hand should have a little bit uh, darker area okay and inside we should have a sort of a wire wine just a little bit hint and you got a little bit of wire inside okay and then the posh goes um, um, it's not posh goal copy but posh go plus shadow and of course uh, that's better than just the posh goal plus shadow okay so if you do that just uh, like a separate completely but if you do something like this is better than this one uh, the original one okay so yeah that's uh, what I learned so you, if, you, if, you, if you have to mix things you got to make the thing that you want mixed on the same layer in order for it to mix okay so I think that's um, already mixed pretty enough and uh, I'm going to add a little bit of hint here, but right uh, right now it's just too, uh, yeah, too, um, yeah, too subtle without the hint. So what I'm going to do is to press X. I just only use two colors right now. Okay, just using two colors. So I got this uh, this color here. Uh, I use this method is just a uh, I want more consistency. Okay. I don't want to mix like crazy amount of color like I did before uh, because uh, I'm trying to make my drawing simple consistent but also expressive right so maybe the, the, the hand goes from here to here going down here and uh, then uh, go here and the cup let me just add a little bit of hint like going here, here, go here, and this is like a water level, add a little bit of hint. Okay. And you don't want the whole black area be completely black. So you can add a few strokes inside just to you know wet it a little bit. 
and we don't want it to be just completely one if you just should complete one the um the the brush will be pretty pretty dry uh that's uh, at least in my opinion okay and um i think the hand part uh is not handled elegantly um maybe i need to push it a little bit so what i'm going to do is to maybe just erase this for, for right now just the one layer to become fairly easy for me to add this so maybe the upper part i'm going to erase a little bit okay the down part erase a little bit so just to uh, you know give it a little hint but i don't want something like that because the, that's a uh, um that's too rounded edges you don't want something like this so x just give you like a really dark color just give you some sort of a hint and i'm thinking about like the hand going huh like huh this way okay so just going down a little bit huh all right i don't want yeah i want to get to uh, maybe just X, then mix it up. I don't, don't want it to be too dark. Yeah, maybe just to connect that with the body part, so just to, you won't pay much of attention to here. And the hand part definitely needs to add in a little bit more hint than this. So what I'm going to do is to use um, the color uh, to connect this two and uh, maybe adding a little bit adding a little bit uh, darker color X okay so you can darker color here just a little bit change um, just a little bit darker color um, you can use the um, pressure sensitivity as a great tool to help you give the hint okay the blending is pretty good okay adding a little bit pressure so you can get that specific effect and a little bit pressure here and there maybe a little bit of the back because you know the back got a bone like this but too bright uh, too dark maybe just a little hint that uh, so you you know, uh, you, your viewer know that you learn a little bit of anatomy. Um, I learned a little bit of anatomy, by the way, uh, recently. <laughs> okay, and um, maybe darker in this. Okay, just a little bit darker and going down. Okay, and um, then this is just push go. What about environment? Uh, I'm going to duplicate environment, so we got a better mix effect. Duplicate this layer, and uh, you can paint using just one darker color uh, above this layer. So uh, maybe some part layer here. Okay, just to, you know, be brave. Um, and I don't know what the heck is going on. Maybe just okay. Uh, maybe I just accidentally touched the top area. Uh, doesn't really matter. We can. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe here. Oh, what the heck? Let me just. Okay, just yeah, <laughs> just restore that. Uh, just be brave. Okay, just be brave. Adding the color. Okay, and the ground. Just be brave, adding the ground color. Okay, you, you don't want your stroke to be like indecisive. Um, just be brave to adding all the stroke. Nothing bad will happen. That's what I learned recently. Nothing bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As I speak, nothing bad will happen. Then it just happens. Sorry about that. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's just maybe I accidentally, maybe just accidentally like touch here and it just move the whole. Drawing. Okay, so I'm just to add here. I'm drawing all the way down, and maybe I'm going to aiming for a curtain-like structure. So going here inside and going out. Okay, going here inside and going out. Okay, so the, this will be just to be a curtain. Okay, so that's our curtain. That's our floor. 
uh, ground. And uh, another tip that I learned is that you can use a really subtle stroke to represent um, like what's in the distance. Okay, so what we're gonna do is to uh, add in layer, but uh, increase, uh, decrease opacity to a very, like really, really slow, but using a very dark color to adding a little bit of, I don't know, uh, maybe just some, uh, you know, some um, high rise buildings in a distance, something like that. Like a really slow tower, uh, like flame tower, something like this. And uh, maybe some triangle like this, okay? Maybe like the Shard of London. Right, and um, maybe some really high towers, and maybe uh, you know, um, some of the plane flying. Okay, you 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 can, you can do all sort of thing. Um, doesn't really matter. Okay, and you you add one layer, right? And you can duplicate this layer as well. Just a duplicate layer, and you can draw upon this layer. Okay, and you can hide this. I uh, just want to mix it up. Uh, of course, you can uh, you can decrease this opacity as well, just make it really subtle. But you can draw above this as well. Okay, just to add a little bit so um, the viewer know there is something actually going on in a distance, but they don't know what. Okay, and of course you can use different blend mode. Right now it's the it's a it's the normal you can use uh, dissolve darken that's really depending on your art style by the way okay uh, just uh, look at different like soften difference uh, exclusion subtraction color dodge uh, we can do all sort of thing okay I think this is looking good okay and remember we're doing digital art so what it can do is to uh, like combine this uh, I can, can we combine this uh, like a real call to combine this uh, merge layer right merge all this together okay and just to decrease opacity a little bit and uh, what is more is that you can using a filter all right using the uh, blur and a little bit Gaussian uh, so you get a really subtle Fading to it, okay, and of course the uh, whole environment can also got a uh, Gaussian, okay. So you got uh, like a really focus on the center. Um, so the Poshko and the shadow, you can add in a uh, Gaussian blur filter just a little bit. Uh, if you add it too much, that's too bad. Uh, maybe the main character no Gaussian blur. So sorry about that. No Gaussian blur, but environment copy. I think we can do with a little bit of Gaussian, right? So just uh, like really give you the feeling that uh, all that is uh, like zoom out, but we we'll focus on the main go in between. Okay, so you can just uh, like give it zoom out, something feeling like this. But if if you don't do uh, if you do too much, you will lose the um, the feeling of uh, uh, of the oil brush, okay. So that really depends on what you are aiming for, okay. And uh, of course, um, you can use not only the um, horizontal. I think this uh, this drawing got so much thing horizontal. You can add a little bit. Uh, 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 have so much vertical. Sorry about that. You can have a little bit horizontal as well. So. Um, you got this uh, layer copy. I can. Uh, I think it's here. Okay, and uh, we can using this as a horizontal layer. Okay, so I can X to mix it up. Add a little bit horizontal. So for example, you want this building to stand out. You just add a little bit horizontal. Okay, you want this to stand out. You just add a little bit horizontal. Okay, and um, maybe just add a little bit. Okay, just add a little bit horizontal. Uh, but that really depends on your uh, art style or whatever you are aiming for. Okay, so if you do this, you might think, hey, that's too much. 
then you, you just need to uh, decrease the opacity, something like that. Maybe just uh, increase the whole like this, okay? Something like this. Horizontal, vertical. It really depends. Uh, yeah, uh, on the high side, I don't think that's uh, that's uh, that's that's good. So I just uh, delete that, and the shot need to be adding a little bit uh, change as well. Maybe just add a little bit. But that's uh, that's, that's a little bit too much. I think that's a little bit too much. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe just the decreased opacity. A little bit. Okay, so just a little bit hint that uh, they are something uh, far away, but uh, right now you can't see. Okay, so let me just zoom out. Uh, I think that's pretty good um, already. And um, yeah, uh, I'm going to rest this for now. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's why I learned recently uh, by using really subtle, um, um, like a really subtle silhouette that's got only two gradient in it. One darker uh, black, the other is like a lighter black. I uh, using the oil brush to like make it automatically shrink, uh, automatically mix it up. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a really great training, by the way. And um, I've I really I learned and improved a lot, uh, especially uh, uh, I'm still very new to digital art. Uh, I practice a lot using traditional art, um, using this method, and uh, especially I think using the brush is, is a great feeling. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys um, you you know love this video. If you don't love it, that's okay because you know I'm just a beginner. I just want to share my journey with you guys. Okay. So um, the best way to support this channel is give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you want to support me directly, you can go to Patreon. Okay. Thank you so much.